What's going on guys? Hope you're having a good day. So Apple finally released the iOS 14 beta 2. Now they basically released all the software beta 2 versions today for the developers. So I'm just making this quick video to keep you guys updated and to also link you to my previous videos. So if you want to know how to install the watchOS beta 2, iOS 14 beta 2, iPod OS um, beta 2, Mac OS beta 2, all of that stuff. It's the same procedure the same videos will work so you can't really go to beta 1 but if you watch those videos and you do the same process it will take you to beta 2 as well now I advise you to get beta 2 I've been using it it looks more stable some apps is still not working well like Twitter but in terms of the overall experience on beta 1 it was really really bad guys like certain apps when I was running it it felt like it was going in 30 Hertz the camera app sometimes bugs out, Instagram will always bug out. For example, you're watching a video on Instagram, it will, if you try to take a picture, you still hear the video that you were watching. So small bugs like that, I even had this bug where whenever I'm on a call for too long, like a straight call, not FaceTime or anything, the audio will mute on my end. So yeah, all those bugs for me have been ironed out. So if you're new to this whole iOS beta thing, I'm gonna show you how easily you could get to beta two from beta one if you previously watched my videos. Also, I'd link all the iOS beta videos, beta 14, stuff like that down below in the description so you guys could check out. But without further ado, let me show you, you could easily upgrade from iOS beta one to beta two. And if you're not a developer, I'll show you how to get developer beta for free as well, which will also be down below in the description. All right guys, so if you're currently on beta one, it's super easy to do. You just need to go into settings, then general software update. Now I know a lot of you guys might already know how to do this, but this is just for people who are new to the beta stuff and want to know how to download the beta. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you do not have beta two, you could just install my videos from beta one. It will also work with beta two. That's just how it works. So you just want to hit download and install into your passcode if you have one. So I'm just gonna let it sit here and whenever it's finished, I'll get back towards the video. Alright guys, so everything has been updated. I'm just going to quickly show you the quick like new features and things that I've known that has been changed in iOS 14 beta 2. Alright, so the first two visual changes is the calendar and the clock widget app has been changed. And also there's a new files widget. So let me just show you guys side by side. This is what iOS 14 beta 1 calendar and clock widget look like. And this is beta 2 on the right side. So also, as I mentioned earlier, there's a new files widget app. So if we go into our widgets folder here, here we go. So this is the new files widget app. So if you have a lot of files and you want to add a files widget, I guess you could go ahead and do that. Could move this to our home screens, I think too. Just like that, new files widget app. I'm not sure why you would use this, but it's there. Let's see if we could actually open one like that. Oh, so we could now interact with the widgets. So that's cool. So we could just go into this and it brings us to that exact one as well. So yeah. So now I guess that's a new feature. We could now interact with widgets. Before we couldn't really interact with widgets. Also apps obviously open more faster. As you can see, smooth, nothing bugging. Everything opens up quickly. So yeah. This new update is definitely valid. Everything's moving smooth and swiftly. As I said before, the links will be down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching today's video. As always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.